I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. Stop for the record. That's a packed area, that's where everybody goes. Oh, where's the bridge? The bridge is just there. So it's us. So a little 52 foot absolute Italian build. Not sure how many guests are coming tonight, but it doesn't really matter. I'll be helping him with a couple of lines, helping serve some drinks when I can, but um, more than that, telling everyone that I'm a photographer out here today. So we'll be giving them some photos of the new year. Pretty exciting actually. I can't actually believe I'm getting to witness Sydney Harbour fireworks. It's normally something I watch on TV, so I'm very excited. <laughs> <sighs> nice one. 52 foot, right? Yeah. Nice little master cabin. What is one of these rent for? Like today? So today is obviously quite expensive. Yeah, today is completely uh, inflated on the price. Probably about 10, 12,000 for tonight. $12,000 for tonight? Now, if you're renting the song. But the, he is, isn't he? No, it's syndicated. This is one of the owners. Ah, uh, it's one of the owners. Uh, that, that, it's, and it's fractional ownership, so it's not time shit. Okay. Feeling pretty honored to be on a boat that would normally cost ten, twelve thousand uh, dollars. Help out a bit and um, let's get it going, man. It's going to be such a good time. Time now is 20 to 5 only, so we've still got a long night ahead of us. They're talking about a little bit of weather coming through, but nothing too bad. So, um, pretty good spot out here. But apparently it's going to get so much busier than this, which I, I can't really believe, because there's just boats everywhere. Anyway, all good, really good spot. City on that side, bridge over there, fireworks everywhere. It's going to be good. So, um, right now, all the guests are just kind of hanging out. It's a very relaxed scenario. It's like, it's weird. It's like the least guest work I've ever done. Like, everybody's just friendly and they're helping themselves. And we're all kind of waiting for the countdown at 12 o'clock. But basically, all the boats just keep coming in, keep coming in. And then I think there's there's like a kids' firework display kind of thing at 9 p.m. And then it goes up to obviously 12 p.m. with a countdown. And then apparently there's boats that's going to be hitting the horns. And oh, I got so much to see. But unfortunately, Drew, myself, and Becca all forgot to eat. We just focused on getting on the boat and getting out here. So we all kind of haven't really eaten, which is a big problem in my opinion. Um, because we've got no food on board. So <laughs> I don't really know what we're going to do. We're probably only eat at like 2 a.m. tomorrow. But um, anyway, we'll make a plan. A weather warning is in place in Australia. Man, it is pouring outside right now. It's what they call a cell. It's like just coming through here. And it's just um, it's just obliterating everybody. But apparently people spend like a day, a day and a half camping along the shores of um, this section of Australia, like in the Sydney area, in the Sydney Harbour area, to be able to watch the fireworks. Like I can't even imagine how horrible it must be for the guys that have spent like a day waiting to watch fireworks and it's just pouring right now. But um, I have a feeling the squall will, will just push through. We've had a look at the radar. Uh, it looks like it's just gonna come through and then clear up. And then it might be another one and then clear up again. Um, but like I said, these guys have spent like a couple million dollars on fireworks. The show must go on for sure.
Oh my gosh. Everything is synced to Aretha Franklin. So special.